Hi everyone, in this video I'd like to walk you through the steps for logging into Brightspace. Once you are logged in, you will see the general college homepage here in Brightspace. And in the upper right hand corner, there is a link for student training. Be sure to enroll in the course and complete the student introduction to Brightspace if you have not done so already. Back here on our home page, you'll want to click on your course for the fall. And just as an example, I'm teaching several courses, but just as an example, I'll go here to uh, one of my fall courses. Once you enter the course, on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see the table of contents area. As you can see, there's an ask a question and course schedule area, course information area, as well as all of your learning modules for the course. Let's open the first item, which is the Ask a Question and Schedule. When you open this area, you'll see the items in, uh, in here. So you've got the course schedule and the Ask a Question board. The course schedule, if we click on this, gives you a week-by-week -week breakdown of the course. It's a bit like a to-do list. It lists everything that you should be doing uh, as you work through this course. Also, we have the Ask a Question board. This is a discussion board, and this is a great place for you to ask questions throughout the term. So if you want to start a new thread, you just click on this button, and then you type your question. So it's very important to include a descriptive subject. So you could say a question about module one, number five, or number four, and then type your question in here. Everyone in the class will see your question, including me. I check this area every time I log into the course, which is pretty much every day. And this is a place that you should also monitor for questions about homework, due dates, uh, where to find things in the course. The only thing I do ask is that you don't post your answers here. So don't post uh, something like, I think the answer for number four is X plus two. Uh, we don't want to post answers here. It is perfectly okay to ask questions about the course content such as um, can you explain the question or can we do a similar example and this is a great place to dialogue and talk about those sorts of things. Okay so let's go back to our home page. That was the ask a question and schedule area. The course information folder tells you all about the course. Uh, we've got a welcome page here as well as course syllabus in the Maple Center. Um, this is an important document because it tells you all about the uh, learning objectives as well as the grading for the course. So I highly recommend that you uh, read through the course syllabus carefully. And the Maple Center is um, a link uh, to where you can download the Maple software for our course. So that's an important item to do um, prior to week one so that you're all ready to begin. Back here on the home page you can see uh, module one. So this is where our learning content uh, is located. We start off in week one in module one and you can see we have uh, some content here and there's an icebreaker discussion as well as some other activities that you'll be asked to either read through or do. Um, there's assessments, there's also discussions, and so we'll work on that in week one. But I just wanted to give you a glance uh, for what those modules look like. Okay, now over on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see the announcements area. So every week um, there will be one or two announcements, and this, it's very important that you read through the announcements. It points you in the right direction for what you should be working on, what you should be thinking about, if there's any hints or adjustments that we need to make. Um, for this week, I have a welcome video, so please take a look at that. At the very top of the screen, this envelope is a uh, very important area uh, for you to use. This is how you will reach out to me. So click on email. 
And if you want to write me an email, so note that this is an email that starts from Brightspace, um, and we'll keep all of our messages here in Brightspace. Uh, the college asks that we do that. One is to protect you. I get a lot of emails to my regular email account. Um, so if everything is here in Brightspace, uh, you know that I'm going to see it and find it and respond to you within 24 to 48 hours, um, depending when you sent your message. So please start your messages from here and um, keep keep the subject line as your course. And then if there's something more to add to it, like uh, module one homework question, something like that, that's that's great to add as well. But definitely make sure the name of your course is there. Um, once we get going, I'll know which course you're in, but I do teach several classes and to help me know which course you're, you're referring to, um, it's helpful to have that. And then uh, for the two area, if you want to send this to me or to someone else in the class, you just click on the two. And then down here, you'll see a list of people in the course. Right now, I'm the only person in the course because the course has not started yet. Um, so you just click on the button and then proceed and, and write me a message. Some other items that you will find helpful along the top of the screen, there's certainly a, a link to policies and student support, uh, the library and my ESC. Those are kind of general college resources. And then in terms of our course here, the course menu, you can always navigate back to announcements, go to assignments, content, discussions, um, and then you can also see your grades. So let me show you what that would look like. So now I'm in here as a, um, as a student view, and if you click on grades for the course, you will see uh, your overall grade as well as all the grades for the respective assignments. So there's nothing in here right now. Everything's showing as a zero. Again, the course has not started, um, but assignments here at uh, SUNY Empire State College, I usually grade them within a day or two of the due date, uh, but the policy is, is that we try to grade them all within seven days of an assignment due date. So um, definitely look for your feedback here. Well, great. There's certainly a lot more to explore here in Brightspace, and this is a new learning management system for students and faculty um, as of the fall uh, 2022 term. So if you're in the 2022 term, um, it is new for everyone. So do be sure to reach out with questions. Um, we're all in this together. We're all kind of learning uh, the ins and outs of Brightspace. Um, but I do believe it will be a great system for us to use, but do keep me posted with any questions as they arise.